Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to my class and welcome to my channel Dukung terus tanya guru official dengan subscribe dan share ya IELTS speaking, question and answer All part Part 1, topic hometown Where is your hometown? My hometown is in Hanoi, which is the capital city of Vietnam. It's located in the north of the country, not really that far from the southern Chinese border. Is there much to do in your hometown? Oh yes, there's certainly lots to do there as it's a fairly big city. If you like going out in the evening, there are a lot of good restaurants and bars. If you prefer cultural activities, there are museums and art galleries. But if you like nature, there are lots of other things outside of the city which are easy to reach. What are the people like in your hometown? They are mostly quite friendly, but as most big cities, everyone is often busy, so it may seem as if they are not interested in speaking or having a chat. But if you live there, you know the most people are quite happy to have a chat, if they have time, and will help you if needed. Part 2. Topic, a major decision. Cue card. Describe a major decision you have taken in your life. You shall say what the decision was, what other choices were available to you, why you made the decision you did, and explain if you think the decision was a good one. A really important decision I have made recently is to study abroad, which is the reason I'm here talking to you now. No one from my family has ever had the chance to study abroad before. My parents were actually hoping I'd start working for our family textile business as soon as I graduate. I think it's too soon to join the family business though. I really want to study marketing, especially fashion marketing and English so I can sell our company products to buyers all over the world. If I study fashion marketing in the UK, I can learn how to do business in the fashion industry, which is, of course, very competitive and fast moving. As for whether it was the right decision, I'm pretty confident it was, and I can't change my mind now anyway because I borrowed money from my parents to pay for my tuitions. I'm going to do my best to finish my course and I will go back to my country with new ideas that will help expand our business. All I need now is to get a good score in IELTS, so anyway, that's an important decision in my life. Part 3. Topic Family Is family important in your country? Thank you for this question. Well, people in my country believe that family comes first and they put their family ahead of anything else. They would do anything for the family and I'm proud that family bonding in my country is quite strong. How has the size of the family changed in the last few decades in your country? From my experience, I can say that my grandfather had an extended family and people at that time used to live together with close relatives. As far as I have heard, their forefathers also live in a joint family and the number of family members was sometimes more than 20. However, the trend of living in an extended family has changed remarkably in cities where most of the family are nuclear in nature. The village in my country still have large families who live together but the number is shrinking day by day. How do you think the family will change in the future? I believe more people will have a nuclear family and the size of the family will be small in the future. People don't like to have more than two children nowadays and who knows they will consider having one baby policy in a distant future. What role do grandparents play in the family in your country? Grandparents in a family are like the pillars of virtue and they play an important role. They maintain a balance for the family by nurturing the old tradition and values and teach how to adhere to the roots. With the increasing number of both working parents, grandparents often look after the children. They often advise the rest of the family time to time family matters as they have more experience. And those their advice often saves us from taking wrong decisions. From this sense, they act like reliable mentors. Who do you think should be responsible for the care of the elderly, the family or the government? I believe the family has the major responsibility to look after their elder family members and support them personally as they did it in their youth age. 
The senior citizens have sacrificed a lot throughout their lives to form a family and then to make them happy. The young members should do everything in their power to accompany their elder members and provide them with their necessities. Having said that, the government has some responsibilities as well. These elder members were once taxpayers and thus they deserve health care, entertainment, and other facilities from the state. Why is the number of Jain families decreasing in modern time? I believe the city-centric life which is highly competitive and busy has diminished the concept of Jain family and created the nuclear family. Besides the urban influence, ever-increasing inflation, our affection towards a materialistic life and less inclination towards the traditions and values have ended up making our own nuclear family.